Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Real Clear Politics article. Matt Gates. it would break the deal that they made to get McCarthy in there as Speaker of the House and begin a motion to vacate if McCarthy passed debt deal without GOP majority. Well, the, <laughs> the deal was passed without a GOP majority. There was something like 20 or 30 more Democrats than Republicans. Over 70 Republicans voted against it. Okay, you need one member of Congress, one Republican, to begin a motion to vacate. Matt Gates, quote, I think the operative question here is if the Speaker can get to a majority of the majority. If a majority of Republicans are against a piece of legislation and you use Democrats to pass it, that would immediately uh, break the deal we had with McCar- McCarthy to allow his ascent to the Speakership, and it would likely begin an immediate motion to vacate. So, it's going down this evening. The Senate, and then the President, and then uh, mashed potato brains will get involved. They'll get a debt deal going. McCarthy looks at it as, well, you know, we have to get it done. We don't want to default. That's not the point. Of course you don't want to default. But you want to at least push for greater concessions. You have leverage. The reason that uh, former President Trump and I think he has a very good chance of regaining the Oval Office. Um, I think most of America wants this or believes that it could happen. But that's another story. I think that Trump backed McCarthy because impeachment is certain. They're going to impeach Biden. Hunter's laptop, the IRS and, and Central Intelligence and other officials that have come out. You have millions upon millions of dollars in possible graft and bribery deals You'd have to be a complete buffoon not to realize that there's a lot more corruption among Hunter and Joe than there ever was with Trump. You have all of media and the entire American political establishment desperately trying to silence any criticism of Biden and amplifying in the most apoplectic manner this hysteria over Trump. Imagine if the tables were turned. You'd have a lot more to work with just with Hunter's laptop alone. As it is, they haven't indicted Trump for anything. They try, they indicted him in New York, but it was about it was misdemeanors elevated to a felony, um, apparently because of an FEC, a federal crime that was never leveled at Trump. The FEC never even leveled a crime at Trump or a fine even. They did say that Clinton and the DNC broke the law and fined them for the Steele dossier. The thing with McCarthy, though, like I said, is that he's going to he's going to impeach Trump. Sorry, he's going to impeach Biden. So mashed potato brains will get impeached. That's why Trump backed him. I don't think, though, that this was a good test. He didn't pass this test. And you have 70 Republicans, 71, I believe, that did not vote for 71 Republicans that did not vote for the debt deal, there's a problem there if you own the House of Representatives. Matt Gates was leading the charge against McCarthy in December and January, okay? It was Matt Gates who led this movement against him. Those 71 Republicans might want a different speaker, okay? So you, you're going to have, I, th- I believe, within the next couple of days, once the debt deal goes through and the package is signed by the president and goes through Congress officially, in the next couple of days, you'll have Matt Gates and perhaps, perhaps even Matt Gates and others Um trying to kick out McCarthy, which will be very, very interesting and will probably um, expedite the impeachment. That's the reason Trump backed him. So there are a number of issues to remember. Well, why did former, why did, why did former President Trump even back this man? Well, he backed McCarthy because of impeachment. Does McCarthy really care? Do, do, do a, lot, a lot of Republicans really care if the debt deal goes through without a fight? Perhaps a great many don't, but there's 71 that do. Who would be replacing McCarthy? Well, there's a number of people that um, the, the same the same names that um, 
Steve Scalise is one possibility. Um, the same names that c- competed with McCarthy in January. So it'll be very interesting. I think it'll be very good for Republicans, Trump Republicans, populist Republicans, who are against never-ending military conflict, against inflation, who want to get back to record low poverty, which is what we have un- had under Trump. We had record low poverty under Trump. Okay, the debt issue is when you look at the debt, it wasn't Trump's policies. Like I, I always talk about, it was Democratic governors who tanked their states, Democratic governors primarily with a fabricated, coerced consensus. People, the, the people in charge of this country did not, the governors, mayors did not have to shut down economic activity. It would be the governors. The Democratic governors did so gleefully. You can look back. This is in ancient history. And they were the slowest to open up. And oh, coincidentally, they opened up when mashed potato brains was in office. And then and then Biden says, oh, look at the jobs I created. Like You didn't create any jobs. You had these economies that just happened to open up. These, these uh, the most populous, largest economies run by Democratic governors who just happened to open up when a Democrat was in the Oval Office. Gee, funny how that works. Hit subscribe to this channel right now to my super thanks to the members on this channel and also to the uh, Patreon. Thank you so very, very much. To read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications, go to hagoodman.com. And ladies and gentlemen, you you have a situation where you probably do need to begin a motion to vacate. You can't, you, 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 you constantly have to remind a person like McCarthy, who is a political creature, okay? If it behooved him not to back Trump, he wouldn't back Trump. He's, he backed Trump because he promised impeachment of Biden. That's why Trump backed him. That's not that I know, you know, firsthand, I'm just putting two and two together. But he's a political creature. He's a political animal. There's, he will, in his mind, Kevin McCarthy, his mind is, well, he passed the debt deal quickly, so we averted default. What's the problem? The problem is that you didn't push for concessions. You didn't use your leverage as Speaker of the House. It's not a big deal. If it was June 5th was the, 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 the date that you had to pass a deal before default, you could have waited until June 2nd or 3rd. Or even the fourth. So, and that's what Democrats would have done. And the tables were reversed. But, you know, um, they, 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 they have a different, um, they're a lot more unified. So, I think that Matt Gates, if he starts it, he begins the, the motion to vacate. Huge paradigm shift. Um, then you're going to see uh, an emphasis on accountability pertaining to the Durham Probe, uh, special, Durham Probe Special Counsel Report. Accountability for those who set up and frame Trump, because they did set up and frame Trump. Um, a lot more of an emphasis on getting things done in terms of pushing for concessions, leverage. So it'll be interesting. Matt Gates. We'll likely start this. And then you have Trump, uh, you know, about to regain the Oval Office. I don't see mashed potato brains as the nominee. I think Hillary Clinton somehow will be the nominee. I don't see Biden as, I mean, he's not popular. The economy's in turmoil. Foreign policy is a catastrophe. I have no clue why anyone would vote for Biden other than it's a religion for a lot of people. I have no clue. Trump was a good president. The hysteria around Trump was a different story. Some of it was his own making, but most of it was media, <coughs> excuse me, media and the American political establishment going after Trump and sensationalizing everything and trying desperately to make him look like a monster. Uh, if the tables were turned, one could only imagine where Biden's numbers would be in terms of approval. They're already in the tank. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now.
Now, McCarthy could very well get ousted. Hit subscribe. Thank you.